My name is Chris Tyler and I'm the Senior District Fleet Manager for the Greater Toronto Area. We are WM, formerly known as Waste Management. Our headquarters are in Houston, Texas and our Canadian headquarters are in Kitchener, Ontario. We provide disposal, recycling and collection services to our customers in the United States and Canada. In Canada, we're at the point where we're about 48% of our Canadian fleet has now been converted to compressed natural gas. And we continue to convert our vehicles and move towards our goal of 70% fleet conversion by 2025. For decades, we have been transitioning our collection fleet from diesel vehicles to lower emission natural gas vehicles. Since 2010, WM has significantly reduced greenhouse gas emissions from our fleet, resulting in an estimated 40% reduction in emissions. As of 2023, 66% of our collection Collection fleet consists of alternative fuel vehicles, bringing us closer to our goal of 70% by 2025. With our transition, we've seen a lot of operational improvements from better fleet reliability to having quieter trucks going down our streets. Having little to no visible exhaust is another positive as we go through our neighborhoods every day. Transitioning does require upfront costs, but the long-term benefits far outweigh the upfront investment that you have to make. Lower maintenance costs primarily is from wear and tear caused by diesel engines compared to compressed natural gas or RNG engines. There's much lower expense associated with that as we run our trucks every day. For range, it's very comparable to diesel. With most of our trucks being able to do 12 to 14 hour days every single day without having to refuel. For training purposes, we have a lot of the manufacturers that help us bring these units on the road that will come in and help us to train our technicians, drivers, and let them know range questions if they have them, as well as maintenance questions, teach them how to troubleshoot, and they're all just a phone call away when we have issues. Because WM was a pioneer, uh, we did go through some uh, development, lots of development, all the suppliers involved in the early uh, deployment of natural gas vehicles learned a lot, uh, improved their products, and. Over the last many years, WM has, has really been a, a really beneficial partner for everyone involved because they have very high standards for performance, reliability, uptime, and uh, we obviously had to bring our products into a sphere where we're as good as, as what they were using prior to that. And uh, I think that any other customer that, that goes down this journey now in compressed natural gas or renewable natural gas will benefit from all the learning that's gone into these products and systems over these years. My advice would be to focus on the long-term sustainability and the operational efficiencies. Begin with a comprehensive look at your operation and assess the long-term benefits over the short-term costs of startup for CNG infrastructure. Through the cost savings, sustainability, and future-proofing your fleet, it far outweighs the initial costs and any other nervousness you might have about this.